students today we are going to discuss the appropriateness of the title of the play strife the title of a play should be short pointed and precise and should suggest the main theme of the play and in this respect strife is an appropriate title for this play strife means disagreement or conflict or discord of some kind in this play goldsworthy manifests the main cause of conflicts in society their effects and the way to end them it shows us that all struggles arise due to lack of harmony or understanding they cause tremendous waste and suffering and they can only be ended if both parties agrees for some kind of compromise or conciliation the play is concerned with industrial strife but what it suggests applies equally well to all other forms of conflict in this play the conflict between the employers and the workers of trinartha tin plate works is presented to the readers the workers demand higher wages whereas the directors reject their demands therefore the workers go on strike the union considers some of the demands excessive and so does not support the strike still the strike goes on for more than 4 months causing big losses to the company and suffering to the workers and their families in this play we see that the conflict develops at three levels uh firstly the personal level then the group level or class level and the ideological level at personal level the main cause of the conflict is that the two sides or parties are led by men of strong will and determination who refuse to budge an inch from the stance that they have taken up on one hand there is anthony the chairman of the company he is a capitalist and the purpose of his life is to fight against the labor class and defeat them on the other hand there is roberts the leader of the workers he inspires the workers to endure all sufferings and make all sacrifices in order to defeat the employers or the capitalists both anthony and roberts hates each other because roberts thinks that anthony is a tyrant and anthony also dislikes him both believes in no surrender and no compromise each has his own ego and pride so in this way both are fanatics and due to them the fight drags on for 4 months because of their rigid and uncompromising stand and this leads to great suffering for the workers and their families and losses to the factory but strife is not a personal fight between these two individuals it is a fight between two classes of people the rich and the poor the employer and the workers the capitalists and the laborers or say haves and have nots anthony is fighting to maintain the power and the privileges the position and wealth of the capitalist class 
because he thinks that it is the right of the capitalists to become fat at the cost of the sweat of the laborers' brows. He looks at the strike as an attempt of the poor to take away the comforts and luxuries of the rich. Roberts represents the labor class. He looks at the strike as a part of the struggle of the working class against the monster of capitalism which has been sucking their lifeblood since time immemorial. Thus the strife presents the eternal fight between the haves and the have-nots. Then at the ideological level, Anthony represents the ideology of capitalism while Roberts stands for the ideology of the working class. So both these ideologies are two poles apart. Anthony says that the capitalists form the brain, the muscles and the backbone of an organization and they do all the planning, organization and management of the work. The laborers only do the work assigned to them for which they should be paid a minimum wage. The profits accrue because of the superior work of the capitalists and so they should get all the profits. Roberts, on the other hand, says that wealth is created by the blood and toil of the workers and the capitalists do nothing but only rob them of this wealth. Uh, for instance, uh, we can say that uh, it was Robert who discovered a new process and he was paid only 700 pounds for it while the capitalists got a profit of 100,000 pounds out of it. So that is why um, after this incident, his belief, Robert's belief uh, that uh, they uh, just suck money at the cost of the uh, laborers, it, he became more adamant in his stand. Robert feels that the robbers should be made to surrender their profits to the workers who are the real creators of wealth. So these three levels of strife at personal level, at class level and at ideological level, level um, do not uh, appear as separate struggles in the play. Goldsworthy has beautifully fused them together. Anthony is not only a strong individual, but he is the spokesman of the capitalist class and the ideals on which they work. Roberts gets his strength from the fact that he is fighting for the rights of the laborers to enjoy the fruits of their own hard work and toil. Thus we see that the entire play is concerned with strife in various forms and at various levels. Goldsworthy shows us the disastrous consequences of strife and indirectly suggests how we can avoid them. Strife, therefore, we can say is the most appropriate title for this play. That's all, students. Thank you. Thank you.